Hi Cancerian, welcome to my channel. We're doing your dailies. This is 17 to the 18, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Okay. There's no message. Um, there was, there is. They say time is up. I don't know what's time's up. Okay. Maybe there's a deadline. Maybe there's a decision. Maybe you feel like you're in the edge and it's time to get a stopwatch. <laughs> Our time's up. Okay. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Here we go. Here's your dailies. 17 to the 18. King of Wands. Sometimes when a star card in a day is just like it gets tiring because I have to repeat it. <laughs> King of Wands energy. But let's see. Because if you were with a Taurus, the Taurus had this. Um, this is being shorthand, but maybe you're not diff you're different. Oh, okay. Someone here feels like there's someone who's um, pulling back. This can be your other person. I see it here. Um, this person means the world to you, so they can be Aquarian or Capricorn. Don't worry. Don't ask why. Uh -huh. They're pulling back from you, or you're pulling back from them. And both of you, it's almost like a dynamic duo. Both of you can create... A good good things in life okay but you guys are becoming distant let me see the other person the full card ah i hate stalker cards <laughs> no because the, the gemini got this it's almost like each zodiac today okay are having inter zodiac relationship okay <laughs> The full card with the King of Wands. Okay. Mm hmm. You feel that, or they feel that, um, it would be stupid of you to pull back right now. Okay. Or, well, that's what I say. It's a risk taker. Someone is willing to take the risk of pulling back. Yep, that's what they're saying. Right now, I'm, I'm not sure because I never play, you know, those card games in poker or whatever. You know, like, you still, you're pushing things to the edge over here. You want you want to test the water, Cancerian, meaning you want to test how they feel towards you. can be the, Pis the Piscean also. Someone here is a very big nose, okay? I mean, I'm not judgy, I just see the nose. a bluff there a bluff that's what i was talking about so nine of cups see when i told you okay i'm gonna explain why i saw that okay that you guys were creating something good and all those stuff because the horseshoe i see two horseshoes being separated and it's luck so if it's luck then it's nine of cups everything is really just connected to each other so someone is willing to risk their happiness by pulling away if i mean to you a lot then you would know what it means when i'm not there hopefully because <laughs> remember it's a bluff <laughs> so taking a risk on it that's the full card let's see eight of swords dear lord this person is going to be stick sick to their stomach sick to their stomach when they do this risk the bluff is killing them. The bluff is making them fearful. How far can I hold to this? How far can I keep this testy energy towards a person? Underneath the Nine of Cups. Magician, which is a Scorpio card for me. Okay. This is a Shrista card. As above, so below. Oh. Uh, this is a person who can pull back. Because this person trusts their intuition. Look at me scratching my head over here. I mean, it's not that they're bad. But if you are the one pulling back or the, whoever is pulling back, their intuition is on point. So they don't have doubt or fear. But they do have here with the Eight of Swords. Oh, they don't have doubt or fear, but they're still sick to their stomach. 
it was a hard decision for them to do it because two of pentacles here is like they see you guys having some good time and stuff like that but for them right now it's like you know what i'll take my chances i'll pull back and let's see where it happens where it goes let me see what you need to learn oh no what's the divide what's separating the two of you can see here and don't worry i'll get you come back okay four of swords four to the eight of swords what's what's dividing you right now is absolute silence um is there a relationship in the library just saying because silence please it's here four of swords so that's what's dividing the two of you you might as well be a librarian no shame to being a librarian okay mm, i remember my librarian yeah <laughs> she was cute <laughs> she cute <laughs> when i say cute i have a different way of cute okay when i say cute it means something okay <laughs> Oh, definitely. You have this one. Look at the one. The otter over there. So what's separating the two of you is that both not talking. One pulled back. The other person doesn't reach out. The other person is like, I'm willing to risk this. If it will be, it will be. Shazam. But this person knows, though, that this is Shazam because the magician is a manifester. They create Shasta, number one creator of what they think. So if they think that this will happen, it so it shall be done. And that's why they're resonating with the Nine of Cups. I need to maintain my happiness and sanity so that this can manifest even though I'm not there. This person, crazy, crazy um, psychic. Yeah, so that's it. <laughs> I'm going to continue this reading as we move forward. In the description box, it's a direct link okay to the extended reading make sure you write the correct email and don't delete the email okay there you go now you know i'll see you guys again can see and have a wonderful 17 to the 18 ciao